Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Shed, Tools, Bridge and Fences. So I actually like the way this looked in the image, we can see obviously right here. However, we always have to remember when dealing with assets in this particular manner that this is a demonstration of what could be. So just keep that in mind. So the actual scene itself it comes with is as you would expect, is a demonstration scene. It's not fancy, but you get what you see. And I don't think it's necessarily bad. A lot of people always complain about things like this and say, well, it doesn't look anything like the pictures. Well, that's because a lot of the time, things like the water, it doesn't say anything about the water, the trees or anything. It's telling you what is in the package. In this case, shed tools, bridge and fences. So anything else would just be considered an extra. So the quality overall, considering it's free, is actually rather nice. I, I like how it looks and I can see how this is useful for, well, pretty much anything. So if we press play and go to the actual game view, there is a little bit of UI set up for us to change uh, what we want to see, which doesn't actually work. Okay, well, I guess that's not too bad. It's, yeah, okay, so we've got a couple of errors. That's that's unfortunate, but it still doesn't deter from the fact that all that was is just an extra way of showing you what could be. So I like inside the shed. I think it's a great little shed and I can see it being used in various different games. So obviously outside the shed, we've got all of these little assets. You know, it's, it's free, remember. Like I said, it's free. So just keep that in mind. You can easily manipulate these assets to look more like what you would want. And here's some tools over here. So you know, the, the quantity wise here is quite large and I'm, I'm quite happy with the quantity. I could see these being used in various different games. I mean, I'm probably going to use this in some of my tutorial series, to be honest. I think they're kind of cool. They're really good. So, uh, axe there. Nice. Nice. So everything it looks fairly decent. And don't forget, you can always customize this to whatever degree you need it to be. So let's take the shed, for example. If we go to the shade, the uh, material, not the shade, the material on the shed, we can change this to albedo and we can increase the smoothness and you can see how much it changes and you're not restricted to anything. I always like to see how easy it is just to get to certain objects like this and just, just change them. Just see what happens if I manipulate or, I mean, look at that. Yeah, it doesn't look real exactly, but it's, it's that easy to customize this to whatever level you would want. So in terms of extras, um, I, to be honest, I think there is enough just within this little section about extras. I mean, it just says bridge, doesn't it? Look, bridge and fences, but this bridge is actually split into multiple different types. So there is a little bit of variation. So I will consider those extras. We've got tools there. We've got boards. You know, I, I think there's enough in the way of extras to warrant the fact there are extras. Uh, so obviously there's scripts in here, or a script, but they don't necessarily work as you just saw, but that doesn't deter from the fact. I, I don't consider that a problem with this asset. You could always just get rid of it if you're using just the assets. And then you've got all uh, the models, obviously. So you can play around with the models. Now, what got me was an extra folder called Courtyard and Entrance. And there is a demo scene. So if I go into the demo scene, and go to where the main camera is. This really kind of threw me off because this actually looks really, really nice. I consider this an extra because if you go to the asset store page, it does say added courtyard and entrance. Check it out. Now, it doesn't actually, or rather, it didn't actually come with that originally. So I would consider that an extra because that's not what we expected to download. And this extra is really, really nice. I really like how this extra looks. I mean, you can always go a little bit further. I always go on about post-processing. You guys know I always bang on about post-processing. And you could just attach a post-processing profile just to make it look like that. I like that. That's really, really nice. So I will consider that courtyard thing um, some extras. So if we have a look, we've got all the little extras in there. So you could actually take this whole um, pack and prototype your own game. You could literally prototype your own game using any of this, really. It's really, really good. So let's talk about the size of the package. It's 
quite large. So 945 megabytes. That is quite large considering what you get. Um, I don't consider it a problem, but some people may, depending on the, the size of their actual game or their connection. So just keep that in mind, 945 megabytes. Uh, its usefulness, I think, with those extras is almost endless because you can take all of this and build your own level in whatever way you would want. And it's nice just to have this little bit of extra. I mean, out here as well. Here's the entrance, here's the whole thing. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. So its usefulness is quite high with all those extras. Even if you only wanted it just for the original shed section, then you know that's perfectly fine. That is entirely up to you. If we just go to the play, let's zoom in so we can actually see it. There we go. So yeah, even if you only wanted just a couple of these things, I'd say its usefulness is still quite high. So. I think overall, if you're looking for something like tools or anything of the sort, you're going to find something useful in this package. I actually quite like that shed. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. Now, this is a bit of a strange one because the original asset itself, the shed tools and whatever, I was inclined not to recommend this much, but because it does have that extra... A courtyard thing, I would recommend this entire package. So if you are one of the early adopters of this and didn't get the courtyard package with it, then I may have been a bit reluctant to recommend it. There's a couple of things which could prove useful, sure, but I, you know, I think it's all dependent on what game you're making. Maybe a survival game would be, it would, I would recommend it for that. But like I say, with that courtyard and the extra, then yes, I would recommend this package to pretty much anybody that uses Unity. If you're an absolute beginner to Unity or just a standard beginner, you can prototype a game just using this package. So yes, I would recommend it to you as well. So guys, have you used this package? Did you use the old version before the courtyard or have you used it since? What are your thoughts? Is it good? Is it bad? You let me know in the comments. And if you've got anything on the asset store yourself, whether it's free or paid, let me know in the comments as well. I'd like to check it out. And don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I have on video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.